we really enjoy renovations. I'm not sure most architects would say that, but there's something really exciting about looking at a building uh, before and then seeing what you do and see the transformation of it afterwards. So uh, renovations are always exciting. And this was a, a two-story uh, underperforming uh, industrial building, which uh, we've turned into a professional, uh, a series of professional office suites. What we envisioned as just you know dumb developers was not this product, but we saw well, we could actually take this antiquated industrial building that doesn't belong in this area any longer that happened to have the unique aspect or uh, the feature of underground parking, which is a valuable asset to buildings, and turn it into a office product. I think our original concept was taking the box and we were just were going to scrape the second floor off it and just have entrances at four corners. Obviously, it's a very just plain concept and it was LPA who came up with the concept of cutting this open air corridor down the middle, um, having the natural light pop into the corridor. Um, we actually were able to utilize the restrooms are actually in the original restroom locations of the old building and the staircases that connect the main floor to the subterranean parking also are the original staircases. The thing that we took advantage of here that uh makes it kind of a, a really sustainable story is the fact that this solution for this building is really a Southern California solution. It really fits into the California climate. The, typically this building would be a interior lobby, an interior corridor, and a, a number of suites off of an interior corridor. And so what we did was actually cut a series of entry courts, exterior entry courts, into the building and then put all our doors into the tenant suites off these exterior courts. So it it's really becomes an internal, external solution as opposed to what is conventional. It would be a strictly an interior solution. We tied it together with these cross beams and tie members that created one solid building that was still structurally sound. So while they definitely are attractive and look architectural, they also serve a structural purpose. A number of things that the site uh, came with, gifts that uh, were just inherent with the original design. So we have access to public transportation, which is fabulous, and then we have a, a level of undergrade par uh, subgrade parking. So that means we have, uh, we're reducing the heat island effect, we're providing shade for those parking spaces, and uh, those were things that got us lead points just because of the, 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 the kind of the, uh, integrity and kind of the uh, smart selection that Cole used in looking at the property. Right now we're targeting basically any office user. We have no use restrictions, which is unusual in Irvine. A lot of areas of Irvine have restrictions as it relates to only design professionals or you know no lawyers or accountants. But this is uh, open to every use and we're targeting every use. We're hoping that um, there is a law firm out there or there is an accounting firm that does want to be on the forefront of being uh, green. We acknowledge we're in a tough real estate market and tenants are not very active right now, but the few tenants that are out there, they're looking at our project even when we're not, don't always fit with their typical need, just because we're the green project in town. And so we're always getting that look. And so while we don't know if right now it's yielding, will yield higher lease rates, we think it will help us absorb quicker because we are sustainable.